hey, uh, <laughs> Cringe Maniac here. Uh, you know, the guy with the Crash Bandicoot profile picture on YouTube. You know, you probably heard of me. I'm pretty famous. Um, this is entirely unscripted. I'm recording this at like 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> but it's a pretty important issue that I feel like we have to discuss. So recently I made a video called Vote Cringe This Election Day. And in that video, I brought up two kinds of people. People who think that Cars 3 is not better than Cars 1, they're wrong. I still think they're wrong. But I also brought up the argument that some people think that a straw has one continuous hole. Now, I've been in an argument with my friend Smug, and to an extent my friend Beak, about that for a while now. And I'm here to tell you that Smug's video on that argument is now completely invalid, because I did some sleuthing on the internet, and I realized, um... I'm technically still not wrong. I'm technically still right. So here's what I realized. Um, a straw constitutes as two holes. That was my original belief. And it's because that little area in between the straw um, connecting would be long enough so that the two holes, the two circles, would constitute as two separate parts. Now... I did some thinking about that, and I looked up some pictures of some other stuff that would fall into this category, and I realized that like stuff like a wedding ring would constitute as one hole by my logic, because it's still a little bit of space in between those two holes. And I thought, well, that's fine, that's a bit of a stretch. I was kind of in denial by that point. And then I realized that if that were the case, then a single hole itself would have to constitute as two holes. Because there's still a little bit of space in between that one hole in order for it to constitute enough as one continuous hole. Unless you were going with the you were going with the argument that there was still a little bit of space in between that hole, like the two openings in that hole, that there was still a little bit of space enough for it to constitute as two holes. So that means that a single hole would constitute as two holes. Now, this made me realize that a straw could probably be four holes, but then I realized that it's just the space is outstretched. The space between the two holes is outstretched. So I kept thinking about it until I realized that, no. The answer isn't as simple as, oh, a straw has one hole. A straw has two holes. If you're a basic bitch, a straw has zero holes. Oh, science. No. What I realized is that a straw can have any hole. Bendy straws can have two holes. That's because the, the opening is in a different position. You're falling down one hole, but then the angle changes position. You're no longer falling down the same hole. You're falling down a little kink in the angle, if you will. And you're falling down the opening of the other hole that was presented to you. However, if you're drinking from a regular straw, that's one continuous hole. That's a hole that starts... It goes up, and then it goes out. There is no such thing as a zero-hole straw. I don't know where people were getting that. That's stupid. But I am now man enough to admit my fault. My fault is that a straw can technically have one hole if it's a regular straw. But a bendy straw, something like that, could technically have two holes. Don't even get me started on crazy straws. So I guess that's about it. Smug's video on the argument is basically invalid now, and I apologize for that. So, now, I only have one thing left to say. One very vital piece of information that all of you should know. Can we all just agree that bendy straws are better, and that crazy straws are top tier? Go out and buy a pack of crazy straws right now, and you'll see what I mean. They're so much better than regular straws.